hopefully, you know, people will see that there's people out there willing to, you know, come out and support them, put their lives on the line or just their, you know, physical bodies, you know, out there and, and put them in front of the tasers, be beaten and, and help stand up for people, you know, uh, because, you know, if the stuff was happening to me, I'd want people to be there for me. You know, so I can't expect that out of people if I'm not going to be willing to come out and support somebody else in their time of need. Well, tell us, though, I mean, it's got to be a, a, a good feeling that this weekend, if you want to call it a victory, I mean, they, certainly the gov the BLM blinked. I mean, we can't feel good about something like that because we shouldn't have to be out here in the first place. Um, sure, uh, you know, it gives us a lot of more hope. It's going to show a lot of people that the federal government isn't almighty God. You know, they can't just go around pushing people around doing whatever they want anymore. We have the internet, we have alternative media, you know, we, we pick up on things faster, we can get around, we can support each other. And that's the real important thing is we need to be backing each other up when we stand for our rights and for our liberties because we're losing them at an alarming rate. And But it was getting pretty tense and, and it, it mm -hmm. seemed that it was, there was definitely a, a, a fear that it was going to become violent. You know, the, the people here um, that have come here to support Bunny, we're not afraid. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we know that, you know, in the past the government has used force against civilians like Waco, Ruby Ridge. All right. Well, we're not that, afraid of that. But this was the fear that it was going to become another situation like yeah, that. Yeah, but... And um, so the government backed down. Yeah. Um, but th this is an entirely different situation from Ruby Ridge and Waco. They didn't have the internet back then, you know. Uh, Clive and Bunny has been involved for over 20 years dealing with these people. This isn't something new. It's just it's escalated to this point, you know. So it's not that Clive and Bundy escalated it to this point. It's the federal government. They came down here. They started abusing protesters and stuff. Sure, they might have been getting in the way of a truck. But they were just curious about what was going on out there because it is illegal to bury cattle out in the desert. And they were breaking the law. And, you know, they had backhoes, dump trucks. Why do you need that stuff if you're rounding up cattle? You can understand the helicopters, you know. But as far as the uh, heavy machinery, that was totally uncalled for. So they were just wanting to know what was going on, you know. Does this change your strategy going forward that there has been, uh, you know, Put one, put one in uh, your corner and your in your tally. We, well, we don't see it like that. Okay, um, we know they're just falling back to regroup. They'll be back. It, it, this isn't over. Um, the BLM is just right down the road. They didn't leave, you know. Um, but with American Spring coming up, you know, a lot of their resources are in D.C. They can't send the ATF and FBI out here in full force, you know. And we know that uh, you know, some. They say federal government can mobilize at a moment's notice if they want to? Come on. Not without people getting a little, uh, I mean, suspicious of what they're doing. The, the more they bring out here, the more will come. Plain and simple. You know, this, this week, you know, people just can't take off work right away. You know, people can plan for vacations, things like that. If they come back and, you know, there's a standoff for a couple weeks, people will make it down here. You know, people were just, a lot of people were just waiting to see what would happen. I know personally a couple people that wanted to come out here um, and join up, but they were afraid they might get a little trigger happy, you know, and wouldn't wait for them to fire the first shot. So they were advised to stay at home. We only need cool-headed people here that aren't going to antagonize them, you know, and pretty much make it to look like we fired the first shot or had anything involved in, in any of that kind of thinking. The armed people here are just here to keep the peace, you know. Certainly, you know, we did have uh, yesterday morning like a little armed confrontation with them, uh, but yet the sheriff was there on our side, which he should have been here, you know, day one, telling them to get out. They have no right to this land. The Constitution only allows the federal government to own land for military bases, shipyards, arsenals, capital buildings, and emergency shelters. I don't see any of that out here. So are you? Are they literally Actually, declaring? The said he cannot supersede the federal government. Well, that's not what the Constitution says. Uh, there's a lot of these guys, you know, that are self-set and they're really dedicated to freedom. That's all they do is they train, 
they go out, you know, and they, they protect our borders, things like that. Minutemen are coming. Uh, and we're just going to be, uh, they're, they're out here. They're out here right now. You don't see them. You know, that's what they do. So, you know, I feel sorry for any federal agents that want to come in here and try to push us around or anything like that. I, I really don't want violence toward them, but if they're going to come bring violence to us, well, if that's the language they want to speak, we'll learn it. Well, that sounds kind of like a menacing statement, I have to tell you. Well, I mean, you hear this kind of rhetoric from the government all the time. Oh, we'll put down citizens, we'll put down protesters, we'll beat you up, we'll gas you, shoot you with rubber bullets. I mean, heck, down in New Mexico, they shot and killed a homeless man out in the, out in the desert, you know. They, they shot and killed this man, sicked a dog on him while he's laying there dying, you know, so, and caught this so all on this video. this location here and this, this issue, you're saying you, you guys aren't going away? No, we're not going away, but we're not going to fire the first shots either. We will defend ourselves if it has to come to that. But we're, we're hoping that, you know, our show of force yesterday is enough to get them to go, hey, this is a sensitive subject, this is a sensitive area, perhaps we should leave it alone. Because any further involvement with the federal government is just going to be seen as instigating. All right, if they come back here, because the only reason we showed up here is because they were here doing what they're doing. It's not like we came here to get their attention and they came. No, they came here, got our attention, and we came. So it's what they're doing is what's bringing us here. So we're not instigating anything at all. We are here in response to their criminal activity as we see it. Sure, they have the law on their side, but is it constitutional law? That's the issue. Now, another big issue is our definition of constitutionality differs from theirs. You know, we are a little more strict on following the Constitution than their opinion. But I'm pretty sure if our founders were alive today, they'd be rolling over in their graves or picking up a gun and doing what we're doing. 